Hello, dear friends. Hope all of you studying really well for the examination. Let's add up one more ministry today. This is Deepa from Shankaran IAS Study Circle, Hyderabad. I'll be discussing and we will be learning today the Ministry of Rural Development. So without wasting our time, let's start with the programs and the schemes which are coming under this Ministry of Rural Development. Hope you have seen my last videos. Under that, actually, I have covered the schemes on the basis of the ministries. So it's very easy for you to recall or to analyze the things which when it is coming under different ministries. So it is easy for you to study that. So today in this video, I'll be explaining Ministry of Rural Development. Let's begin with the Deen Dayalu Antyode Yojana under Ministry of Rural Development, which is the first scheme I'll be explaining with you today. Let's start with it. What is this Deen Dayalu Antyode Yojana explains? National Rural Livelihood Mission, that is Ajivika, has been subsumed into Deen Dayal Antyode Yojana. Before, the mission was actually Ajivaka that has been included in this and given a new name under Ministry of Rural Development. The scheme is assisted by investment from World Bank. This is important. From assisted, which organization, funded by which government, all these points are very important. The next one is, it aims at creating efficient and effective institutional platforms for rural poor enabling. This is actually a very important point. It aims at creating efficient and effective institutional platform for the rural poor, enabling them to increase the household income through sustainable livelihood enhancements and improved access to financial services. What are the features of this particular scheme? The features are universal social mobilization. So this is actually, in the word itself, it explains that universal, universal social mobilization, at least one woman member from each identified rural poor. The word rural poor, it is very important because it is mentioned every time. Sometimes in the UPSC question papers, you have seen the words, only rural poor, only rural poor are only, they may give only poor, urban poor. So they may change the words with using this poor word. So be very careful when you are choosing the answers. Okay. So rural poor household is to be brought under the self-help groups network. Participatory identification of poor Target group is identified through participatory identification of poor method and it is delinked from BPL cards. This is very easy to identify the person who is and coming under the below poverty line if he is holding the card. Okay, The responsibility of identification of poor must be vested with Gram Sabha. You know the importance of it because Gram Sabhas will be the respective authoritative body which actually finds out the identification of that particular person whether he is are coming under that particular scheme or not so he will be the deciding person and the next point which explains about it is community funds resources as resources nrlm provides revolving fund and community investment fund as resources in perpetuity to the institutions of the poor to strengthen their institutional and financial management capacity. Okay, the financial inclusion. You have seen this word in almost all the schemes and programs because of the financial inclusion, such as like you know, Jandan Yojana and all those things. So this this uh, scheme also concentrates upon that to promote financial literacy among the poor. Right? They won't be having the idea about how to transact. Right? So that transactions or those things has to be taught to poor people. This, with this program or with this schemes, so that will be helped out. 
Livelihoods it also promotes existing livelihood portfolio of the poor through its three pillars what are the three pillars vulnerability reduction and livelihoods enhancement employment and enterprises these three pillars are the main thing which comes under the scheme okay partnerships with ngos and linkages with panchayat raj institutions which are the ngos and panchayat raj institutions are the partnerships uh, which are actually helping out the scheme implementation so these are all the points which are very much important under uh, the program which comes under ministry of rural development my dear friends so this program is very important you have to learn about this one okay so the next program which explains under ministry of rural development is ajivika gramin express ajivika gramin express yojana it is a new sub scheme this is a sub scheme under deen dayal antyodaya yojana sometimes i told you in the previous uh, ministries and the schemes as well there are sub schemes and one scheme that is that will be related with other schemes so such kinds of schemes has to be given more weightage when you are studying because such schemes gives the confusion in your mind whether the answer is correct or not okay so be very careful when you are reading such kinds of schemes so ajivika gramin gramin express is a sub scheme under deen dayal antyodaya yojana it is a national rural livelihood mission okay so the next point is the main objective what is the main objective of this ajivaka gramina express that is it provides an alternative source of livelihood to members of self help groups and facilitate them to operate public transport ajivaka gramina express public transport service in backward rural areas so there is a connection between the name and as well as the activity or the function that particular scheme is performing okay thus it will provide safe affordable and community monitored rural transport it gives the safe affordable and community monitored rural transport to connect to the remote villages so some of the villages they won't be having the road connections example it may be in the hilly stations hilly regions or some villages which has been cut off from the main other urban areas or the villages or the rural areas so, so such kinds of villages will be connected by providing the best facilities with affordable prices for those people who are living in that particular villages okay this is actually a connection connection medium which is created by the government through ajivika gramin express okay it will be implemented in 250 blocks in the country on a pilot basis this is very important the pilot projects are very important of the government because pilot projects are those projects which will be implemented in few of the areas so to see that whether the scheme is going to function in a well based manner if it gets the success then they will implement throughout the country or throughout the that particular state so such kinds of uh, uh, pilot projects are very important you have to look into those projects which are considered to be as for the short term like you know for 3 months they will experiment it first later on they will implement it so such kinds of pilots projects you should be very careful in all the ministries in all the schemes under this ajivaka gramin express this is the pilot basis project for a period of 3 years as i explained 3 years from 2017 18 and 2019 20 under this scheme community based organization will provide interest to free loans from its own corpus to help the self help group members for purchase of vehicles shgs are actually given more encouragement to, to get the vehicles and give the support or develop the transport facilities to communicate the people of that particular village which is not provided which is actually cut off from the rest of the world okay that is important 
ದೀನ್ ದಯಾಲ್ ಉಪಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ಕೌಶಲ್ಯ ಯೋಜನ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಆಫ್ ರೂರಲ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೀನ್ ದಯಾಲ್ ಉಪಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ಗ್ರಾಮೀಣ ಕೌಶಲ್ಯ ಯೋಜನ ಕೌಶಲ್ಯ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಟ್ಯಾಲೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಟೈನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕೌಶಲ್ಯ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ DDU GKY is tasked with the dual objectives of adding diversity to the incomes of rural poor families and cater to the career aspirations of the rural youths okay it aims at transforming rural poor youth into an economically independent and globally relevant workforce so to how how they will be becoming like you know the globally relevant workforce to providing the skills encouragement or to provide to provide that particular training program so that they can become still more better right so the skills has to be improved in one person to get exceed or get excel in all dimensions so that is provided under this particular scheme for the youth of rural background okay it focused on rural youth between the age group of 30 15 to 35 years what is that age group 15 to 35 years you all very much show sure, aware of it like you know in between this year the person is very strong in performing any kind of job maybe it is a physical or mental job so, so this age group will be concentrated under this scheme and they will be provided with the special training programs special initiatives under deen dayalu upadhyay gramin kaushalya yojana are imat that is a special scheme and for the youth in jammu and kashmir next one is roshini roshini is a special initiative for the rural youth poor families 27 left wing extremists districts across nine states which is actually not stabilized or not comfortable areas the, those areas actually covered under roshini program okay this is about the scheme let's go further that is kaushal panje kaushal panje or skill register what is it called as skill register is a mobilization platform for skill development the skill register aims to be citizen centric end to end solution to aid mobilization of candidates for deen dayal upadhyay gramina kaushalya yojana see here it is interlinked actually the scheme which was there which i discussed before and the scheme now they both are interlinked with each other and rural self employment training institutes okay it facilitates the mobilization through self help group members gram panchayati functionaries and block officials so the block officials will be actually taken care of that so the next one is and common service centers directly by the candidates rs s e t i s and this program are the partners can be can access to the kaushal panje con- connect with the mobilized rural youth okay to get the connection these two have come together and they are actually providing their facilities to increase the uh, skill development among the rural youth kaushal panje is connected to the social economic caste census 2011 you know very well that caste census that took place in 2011 which will help the states plan and target their mobilization based on the socio economic profile of the households in their state about the caste census make sure that you refer to it once and what are all the criteria that has been uh connected with the particular caste census you have to have the awareness about it okay this is a small suggestion from my side and the next one is rseti divas 2017 this is actually related to skill development through self elf employment and training institutes provides skilling thereby enabling the trainee to take bank credit to start up is our own 
business okay this is actually provides the helping hand for those who are interested to start up their own business and create their identity in the field of business so oh, fine for them they will provide the bank credit so the bank bank credit will be given for them recently fourth r e r s e t i divas was celebrated in recognition of outstanding performance of r s e t i s in various states and awards were given for the best performing states and lead banks lead banks which provided the credit facilities for the respected person right so this is about the divas r s e t i divas what is r s i e t i you learned it the rural self employment and training institute okay this divas 2017 we learned about it let's go further startup village entrepreneurship program startup program the other scheme is also having the same name called as startup scheme so you should be very much aware of which scheme belongs to what ministry and relates to what functions okay startup village entrepreneurship program is aimed at creating an ecosystem for rural population to be able to start their own enterprises for sustainable livelihoods it is going to be launched on the lines of din dayalu i think i have explained this also related to that kaushal yojana which we have discussed further in uh, before so our slides to generate a livelihood through self employment loans will be made available through self help groups for starting the enterprises so the loans will be supported or the loans will be given for the self help groups for starting up the enterprises fine the next one is pradhan mantri awaz yojana it replaced indira awaz yojana you should be aware of the programs which were there before and which has been changed and taken the new name now okay this is actually indira awaz yojana before right now it is called as pradhan mantri awaz yojana which was launched as a sub scheme of jawahar rozgar yojana in 1985 first this was actually indira awaz yojana was a sub scheme under jawahar rozgar yojana which actually took the new name as pradhan mantri awaz yojana fine so indira awaz yojana aims at helping rural people below poverty line bpl in construction of dwelling units and upgradation of existing unserviceable kacha houses by providing assistance in the form of full grant it's one one full grant that they are going to give to support the person who is having the kacha house okay the next one is beneficiaries are people belonging to scs or sts freed bond laborers and non sc or st categories widows or next to kin defense personnel killed in action ex service man and retired members of the par paramilitary forces disabled persons and minorities these are all the people covered under this particular scheme okay so the next one is it will be implemented in rural areas across the country except in delhi and chandigarh this is very important because some of the schemes will be not implemented in a particular places so in particular place where that you should have the knowledge about it because such kinds of statements if at all it has been given in the question paper that gives you the conf confusion whether it is correct or not so you should know that the pradhan mantri awaz yojana that is not present in delhi and chandigarh fine government to construct 1 crore pakka house that is permanent houses for the rural people in next 3 years 3 years is the target the project will be implemented in a span of 3 years and expected to boost job creation in rural areas 
beneficiaries of the rural houses would be chosen according to data taken from the socio economic caste census i told you in the previous slide or slide also that caste census of 2011 is very important and on the basis of that one the allowances has been allocated that is for 120000 in plain areas whereas 130000 in the hilly areas will be provided for the construction of the pakka house the unit size will be enhanced from the existing 20 square meter to up to 25 square meter so the 5 square meter extra has been added that is important it is actually added 5 extra increased the area level including a dedicated area for hygienic cooking funds will be transferred electronically this is important directly to the account of the beneficiary to avoid all misleading or the persons intermediaries to avoid all the problems government has decided that the funds should be transferred electronically directly to the account of the beneficiary the beneficiary would be facilitated to avail the loans up to 70000 for construction of the houses in optional which is optional okay so the national urban mission the national urban mission is also called as sham prasad mukherjee urban mission important okay this is also called as sham prasad mukherjee urban mission and aimed at strengthening rural areas by provisioning of economic social and physical infrastructure facilities the objective is to stimulate local economic development main objective you should know about it enhance basic services and create well planned urban clusters that is smart villages smart village is an area which possesses the economic characteristics and lifestyles of an urban area what is a smart village like you know the village which covers almost all kinds of facilities that is provided in an urban area fine it follows cluster based approach of the state governments would identify the state government has to take the responsibility in identifying geographically contiguous gram panchayats so with a population of about 25000 to 50000 in plain whereas in coastal areas a population of 5000 to 15000 in desert okay in desert it is 5000 to 50000 15000 15000 then illi or tribal area so so each area has having a different set of population count that is going to be calculated under this particular mission fine these clusters would be developed by provisioning economic activities developing skills and local entrepreneurship and providing infrastructure amenities it provides skill development training what are all this points that comes under this particular scheme is very important digital literacy this is very important mobile health unit electronic delivery of citizen centric services e gram connectivity public transport inter village road connectivity etc the funding will be through various schemes of the government through public private partnership ppp so this will be done on the basis of ppp in addition to it there will be a critical gap funding of 30% of project cost as a central government shares for the cluster this actually government as well as central government as well as state government and as well uh, as well as the ppp model is there public private model is included so all these are included under this particular scheme pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana what is the aim of it it is actually planning to provide all weather road connectivity to unconnected habitations so that's important the habitation which was earlier provided all weather connectivity would not be eligible even if the present condition of the road is bad fine 
it is 100% centrally sponsored scheme very important this is not actually the scheme which is supported by the state government this is sponsored by center fine and 50% of the cess on high speed diesel is earmarked for this program the target year for achieving 100% rural road connectivity under pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana is 2019 the unit of this program is habitation and not revenue villages major district roads state highways and national highways cannot be covered under the pradhan mantri gramin sadak yojana even if they have happen to be in the rural areas okay all habitations with a population of 500 persons and above in the plain areas and 250 persons i told you before itself the numbers are different from the plain areas coastal areas hilly areas tribal areas okay so desert areas such kinds of the uh, differentiations you should know at least if if not the numbers you should have the knowledge that there are different sets of groups that has been made to give the funding for that particular area fine above hill stations uh, the tribal and the desert areas will be connected by this particular scheme that is pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana so let's continue with the next program that is mgnrega this is the program i think you are very much thorough about it by now because it is very much in news and very much in talk pradhan mantri national sorry gram mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee scheme M mgnrega to enhance uh, livelihood security in the rural areas by providing at least 100 days days are important 100 days of work has to be provided has to be provided otherwise they have to be compensated i'll explain that one in further how they will be compensated okay so let's start this 100 days of guaranteed demand based wage employment in a financial year to every household whose adult member volunteer to do unskilled manual work all these words are very important my dear friends unskilled manual work it's not skilled because they are not trained unskilled manual work every financial year that is important so such kinds of words are very important which i have underlined beneficiaries are willing rural population unskilled manual laborers and seasonally unemployed a 60 40 wage and material ratio has to be maintained okay this is the ratio that has to be maintained under this particular program no contractors and machinery is allowed because there is no mediators no mediators because they will mislead the person who is not literate so that is the reason why there is no contractor the machinery is allowed because unskilled manual work will be done by the laborer who will be allotted 100 days of work wages are linked to consumer price index uh, and the next point about it is the central government bears 100% wage cost of the unskilled manual labor manual labor and 75% of the material cost so the 25% it's left by the state government fine but whereas the wage cost it is borne completely by the central government that is important okay so the next one is it work is not if the work is not provided i told you i'm going to explain this one further right if the work is not provided within 15 days of applying once the application is done if within 15 days the work is not assigned to that particular applicant he he is entitled to an unemployment allowance he has to be provided with the allowance extra allowance because he did not get the required job okay mg nrega is to be implemented mainly by gram panchayats at least one third of the beneficiaries shall be women that is important 
वन थर्ड द रेशियो इज इंपॉर्टेंट वन थर्ड ऑफ बेनिफिशरीज शेल बी वेमेन सोशल ऑडिट हैज टू बी डन बाय द ग्राम सभा एटलीस्ट वन एवरी सिक्स मंथ्स फोकस इज ऑन क्रिएशन ऑफ ड्यूरेबल असेट्स एज पर लोकल नीड्स ओके दिस इज अबाउट एम जी एन आर ई जी ए ओके I hope you have cleared with the, the point and the compensation. Everything what I have explained, those are the points very important for the examination. Sansad Adarsh Gram Yojana S A G Y. Sansad Adarsh Gram Yojana is a village development project. It is a village development project under which each member of the parliament. MP, each MP will get one village at least. He has to develop that particular village. Okay, Parliament will take the responsibility of developing physical, institutional infrastructure and improve the standard of living in that particular village. It is a central sponsored or central sector scheme launched in nineteen ninety three and ninety four. This is for the Lok Sabha members. members of lok sabha has to choose a gram panchayat for the constituency he or she is represents and the rajya sabha member chooses it from the state he or she is representing okay so both the mps has to select the village or the gram panchayat from where they belong to mps cannot pick this is important cannot i told you in the previous videos as well when the words not sorry not all and any such kinds of words you have to underline okay this is actually saying can not cannot pick villages which belong to themselves or their spouses that is important and the next one is the goal is to develop three other shigrams by march 2019 this is the target date that they have given of which one would be achieved by 2016 thereafter five such other shigrams one per year will be selected and developed by 2024 by 2024 they have to select one per year fine gram panchayat would be uh the basic unit for development the scheme requires mp to draft village development plans identify gaps in funding and mobilizing mp led funds to create additional resources specifically from csr initiatives of various corporate houses district collectors will carry the ground level surveys along with the monthly review they will do the monthly review meetings to monitor the progress fine at the state level the chief secretaries will head the empowered committee on the same of and the minister of rural development secretary will be actually taking the care or the person who is going to be the head or the chair will be the secretary rural development and secretary rural development uh ministry will chair two national level committees to track the scheme whether the scheme is going in a right track or not that will be confirmed by these people okay these heads the next one is national assistance program national social assistance program this is nsap it is a social security and welfare program which provides the support of aged person so this is for the group of aged persons widows disabled persons aged widows and disabled persons and bereaved families on death of primarily bread winner belonging to the bpl livelihoods okay these are all the categories of people which comes under national social assistance program fine it comprises of five schemes which are those five schemes which comes under national social assistance programs are indira gandhi old age pension scheme under this the age to people are category age category people covered the second one is indira gandhi national widow pension scheme so the widows covered 
इंदिरा गांधी नेशनल डिजेबिलिटी पेंशन स्कीम ह्योर द डिजेबिलिटी डिजेबल्ड पर्सन कवर्ड नेशनल फैमिली बेनिफिट स्कीम अंडर दिस वन द पर्सन हु इज द हेड ऑफ द फैमिली दैट इफ ही डाइड दैट पर्सन कवर्ड अंडर दिस द फिफ्थ वन इज अन्नपूर्णा सो ऑल दीज फाइव स्कीम्स आर कंप्रेस्ड अंडर नेशनल सोशल असिस्टेंस प्रोग्राम आई टोल यू बिफोर ऑल्सो द प्रोग्राम ऑफ द स्कीम विल बी कनेक्टेड और विल बी रिलेटेड विद अदर स्कीम्स एंड प्रोग्राम दैट सपोर्ट द स्कीम्स टू गेट सक्सेस इन दैट पर्टिक्युलर फंक्शन राइट so under nsap 100% central assistance is extended to the states or union territories to provide the benefits in accordance with the norms guidelines and conditions laid down by the central government okay that's about it the next program my dear friends it is a niranchal watershed program what is this niranchal watershed program niranchal watershed program is a world bank assisted national watershed management project which is actually designed to further strengthen and provide technical assistance to the watershed component under pradhan mantri krishi sinchai yojana this is the pradhan mantri krishi sinchai yojana comes under ministry of agriculture fine so that i'll discuss sometimes later annapurna scheme i told you in the previous scheme of national social assistance program five schemes were included right under that one program which called as annapurna that i'll be explaining now for you okay what is this annapurna scheme explains annapurna scheme is under the ministry of rural development and department of food and public distribution which allocates the food grains per the requirements of ministry of rural development senior citizens of 65 years age so here this is important the person who is cross the age of 65 years is important who is called as senior citizen that person will come under the scheme or the above who are not getting pension under the national old age pension scheme are provided 10 kg food grains per person per month free of cost the condition is he should not be a member of the old age pension scheme he should not come under that if he is not coming under that and he is a senior citizen he will be getting free of cost food grains for of 10 kg that is about annapurna scheme the next one is aramba aramba is a mobile app for the road maintenance in rural areas aramba is the mobile application which aims at using the gis based mapping for making road inventories condition surveys producing cost estimates and other relevant data for preparation and monitoring of annual road maintenance plans fine hope you understand this point there is also another initiatives that has been taken under this program the this is launched by the network of the organization in india and internet watch foundation foundation of britain okay it is the country's first very important point it is the country's first ever hotline to curb sexual abuse of children through the internet and to remove the child pornography content online aramb okay that is about it the next one is mission antyodaya under this mission the government with the partnership of state has involved the ranking of 50000 gram panchayats for what the ranking is based on parameters of physical infrastructure human development and economic activities it facilitates the identification of gaps in quest for poverty free gram panchayats and drive economic activities to improvise the rural areas performance or the condition of living that is covered or that is concentrated under this particular antyodaya mission fine public institutions like krishi vigyan kendras msme clusters will be involved for enhancing productive employment and economic activities so that is about 
Antyodaya Yojana or Antyodaya Mission. Fine. The next one is Disha Portal. It is a website that you all know by saying Disha Portal. It is a data intelligence platform that will provide all the information to the elected representatives to track the performance of all the major flagship schemes at the different central ministries in their respective districts and constituencies. This makes it easy for the person who is actually responsible for the development of that particular constituency he will be able to get all the information about that particular grama panchayats or the respected districts okay the portal will help in planning and evaluating time bound development of the districts with regards to a scheme such as swachh bharat mission mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee scheme so pradhan mantri Uchwal Yojana among others. Okay, these are all the programs which will be concentrated or the informations will be shared from these programs under Disha portal. With the help of Disha dashboard, the district development coordination and monitoring committee can access data at the level of a state, district, sub-district and Grampa Panchayat. The main purpose of the committee is to coordinate with the central and state and local panchayat governments. Okay, this is actually creating the bridge among these three working groups. Okay, central, state, and the local panchayat governments. The chairperson of the committee is the senior most MP. This is important. Who is heading this? The chairperson is senior most MP of. Lok Sabha, elected from the district, nominated by the Ministry of Rural Employment. This is about the schemes under Ministry of Rural Employment, my dear friends. Hope you all understood the points. Thank you all for viewing it. And I will be doing the next video. Please do watch it. Time is very precious. Prepare well. All the very best. I know very well you people will definitely get the success. This year, all the very best.